So if this is the three-point line, this is the key, obviously. We want to draw at about 17 feet. Let me put it in a different color. We want to draw a line at about 17 feet, and then we do not want the ball to penetrate that red line. We want to keep the ball outside it. I, I run a basketball camp like all, all coaches do, and one of the things that I tell the campers from age six to age 17 or 18 is that if you can keep the ball in front of you, you're a commodity. You're going to be able to play college basketball. You're going to be able to play on your high school team if you can get in a stance and keep the ball in front of you. Because that is, I, mean, I, I don't think I've ever coached a team in my life that's had five guys on the floor at the same time that could all keep the ball in front of them. Where I could just, all right, you got him, don't let him go. I'll have a few players every year, but to put five out there is very hard. So we have to help the ball. So I don't want the ball to penetrate the red. So let's say this is the basketball right here. And now I have a defender on the ball. We want all the other defenders to have two feet, two feet inside that red line, inside the pack line. I want six eyes on the ball. So these, these two sets of eyes, these two sets of eyes, and these two sets of eyes can see the basketball. And that's our philosophy. That's to build a wall. We want to build a wall on that red line and not let that basketball penetrate the wall. We'd want to guard the three-point line. We don't want to just let people stand there and shoot it. And that's why we say we pressure the ball. But we really believe that it's a lot easier to help out than it is to step in and then help out. And what I mean by that is if I'm inside that pack line and I've got to close out to the basketball, if all everything's going out, I can do that. I can get there. I can teach average quickness, average speeds players to do that. But if I've got guys reaching, stepping to get into the, into the uh, gap, and then having to also go out to recover on a pass, our help and recover, that's when we're going to get in trouble. So we've got, we teach and try very hard to get our people two feet inside the pack line. The only time, the only time that I wouldn't want you with two feet in the pack line if you're a help defender is if your man is going to set a ball screen. So let's say here's the ball, we got a defender, and this guy here sprints up to set this ball screen. Obviously now I don't want his defender in here I want his defender out here with him. So that's one of the times that we would say you don't have to have two feet inside the pack line when you're in help.